US is the largest LNG exporter in the world and that gap's just gonna widen um, into the, the early 2030s. Um, I see feed gas averaging about 16 BCF a day this year and that's gonna more than double to 35 BCF a day in 2032. So that's a ton of gas. It, it begs the question of, is there enough infrastructure? Is there enough production? Um, I think there's enough pipeline infrastructure to address it through 2028, but we're going to need more after that. We're going to need more from Eagle Ford. And, and right now, when you factor all that in, I think there's about 12 BCF a day of pipeline capacity um, through 2028 to, to feed LNG. But you have about 19 BCF of, uh, a day of feed gas. So there, there's a gap there that we're definitely gonna need some more infrastructure. And then on top of that, the production. And that brings up the, the question about what, what price do we need in natural gas to motivate that production? But I think it, it centers around what the, the natural gas price needs to be um, through the latter part of this decade.